Hello again. Well, what do you know? Look at that. Seems like a build craft uh, generation of oil is kind of strange today. Those two spots there are located in the air. <laughs> oh well, quite funny. Anyway, <coughs> as I said in the comments in of the previous episode in the blog, I found a dungeon in the surface of the map. Also, the chickens have been kind enough to provide me with two eggs, which uh, will help me a lot when it comes to crafting a philosopher's stone. Let's just store it for now. This is more a, a warehouse than a, than a home, however. It's, uh, well, I place here a small... <coughs> Sorry. Um, a small farming. Uh, a small farm. And here I found another, another entrance to the site of the... Well, to a tunnel system and uh, to the site of the dungeon. Also, I found here some goodies and uh, tons of iron, in fact. So I'm I really looking forward to having enough iron for smelted and ready for the tools I'm gonna need to exploit that uh, resources. In the meantime, however, I'm gonna have a look at the dungeon. Oh, here it is. Yeah. A zombie dungeon. Well, a zombie spawner. Yeah which is somehow the most common version of any spawner and I'm going, I suppose I'm going to use it for well, oh, the spawner gee, haha <laughs> I said I suppose I was going to use it for something but I think I will just uh, place it somewhere else or see if I can mine it. Uh, maybe, yeah, I can mine it. Monster spawner mine, haha. <laughs> so now I can place it in a farming machine and get everything I want. Well, for, from zombies. Oh well. Uh, the mods I just showed you is a Rizugami's spawner graphical user interface. You can get it in the same thread, you can get mod loader and uh, the other mods from Rizugami. Oh great, I just broke another shovel. Anyway, uh, I'm going to store the monster spawner for the time being and I'll use it later. Oh, and I got another chest. <coughs> if you're wondering about the village, I s I'll tell you that I still didn't interface with our milliner buddies, but I did evict all of the uh, inhabitants of the village in here, the Minecraft vanilla village, and I already gathered all the materials in those, uh, well, almost all the materials of the village. Uh, some of the items, were, or some of the blocks were taken by endermen, <coughs> and in fact, I managed to get about uh, two Enderman pearls. 
two ender pearls, but uh, nothing else. Seems like the Endermen don't really like to go around with their family jewels, so to so to say. <coughs> anyway, as you can see, I have two ender pearls now, and uh, I managed to get some ink sacs, some mushrooms. I killed uh, a creeper and got some gunpowder. And uh, it's well. I found some more appetite in the deaths that I found. I will be dismantling this house in uh, in a while, and uh, mostly because I think the village will take it, take this house down when it spends. Minecraft villages work uh, like if you were watching my previous Let's Play. They work like the um, <coughs> like the city updates in the uh, okay in the um, Tale of Kingdoms mod. They will just uh, spawn an schematic file in well where where they want, and then the uh, everything that was there before will be deleted. So yeah, <coughs> it's better not to be not to have anything of value around when you do that, or when th when they do that. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with the amount of resources I'm getting from here, and well. <coughs> And I'll keep uh, well uh, gathering resources before I well before I start advancing with the with the village. Now I'm going to craft uh, an iron pickaxe, and I'll go down there and gather all those shiny goodies that I left behind after showing you right now. So I'll see you soon. Okay, welcome back again. I fell down a little, so I'm exploring uh, something of, on the cave. And well, for the time being I gather some goodies, some, some gems I can later craft into the more useful <coughs> shape of tools. Uh, oh, there's something. Oh no, it's not an M. It's an N. And now I remap this key. I wanted to mention something on the on, the, on this, which is mine. Uh, yeah, the options in here that allow you to change some things. Some stuff here okay it's not in there uh, hey this show slime chunk yep this shows the chunks where slimes will spawn it's quite useful when you for when you can you wanna place uh, Aki, uh, where you wanna play, uh, place your slime grinders, and I wanted to show you. I discovered it uh, a while ago, but uh, didn't thought of sharing it. Uh, well, until now. <coughs> uh, as you can see, I'm finding quite a great deal of tin. I really prefer to find uh, silver, but uh, it won't be of any use to me till I find some nickelite, which is what you need to use for the electricity options. Oh, look! Good part about uh, finding rails on here is that you can uh, uh, craft. Well, oh. You can uh, 
furnace them into more oh my gosh this goes on and on in a uh, back into iron yeah I know I left behind a bunch of resources it's just that I am of the I'm one of the people that thinks that once you're inside uh, mine shaft or exploring a cave, it's better to move quicker, quickly, uh, placing the torches before any mob has time to spawn and ruin your day. Just that. Mm -hmm. I I will craft a crowbar later for the rail mods and gather these rails more quickly. I think this is finally some silver. Yeah, silver ore. One of the better times you can spend uh, digging around and exploring all these all these places, all these dark places, is the night. You know, because uh, well, it's the same ruling that um, conditions uh, all the monster grinders and things like that we make on the surface. When it's daytime and you have uh, a few eligible spawning points in the surface then the moths will spawn there however when it's night time and you're underground moths will have a lot of places to spawn over your head, over your head for example so they won't be underground messing around and giving you a headache attacking you and things like that so I prefer to explore down here at the night time instead of daytime oh and also you can gather resources up there on daytime ooh this oh I thought this might be a little more trickier but nah, I'm not going to go that way in fact, haha, I will block that passage. <clears throat> All this is a good source of uh, well, wood and other resources we can find down, down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm still a little ill with my cold which has succeeded quite a bit actually but still gives me some trouble mm. great the worst thing about all this exploring is that I tend to well become lost fortunately thanks to Ray Minimap I can position myself against the surface which means I can well try to get my way back so while well, I keep uh, well gathering resources going around and uh, try not to get too bored down here or too scared too scared okay it's a game <coughs> I'm going to cut the feet and find my way up <laughs> so you won't have to suffer oh well I located my way out and before my throat kills me fully so I'm going to, quit to cut the feet now my gosh uh, this tunnel just go on and on and on I'm running from one tunnel into another, into another, all the time. I found another monster spawner with uh, venomous spiders this time. I'm noting what uh, each one of the spawners since I'm going to well place them the same way they were bef 
before I take them. And I found uh, well a lot of of materials. I'm I don't know if I run into some sort of book or something or just uh, a particular a map, but uh, the amount of copper I'm finding around, I, I don't think it's normal. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going for my second stack of copper, for my second full stack of copper, that's not counting all the copper I have in the vase, and well, it's uh, kinda strange. Anyway, uh, I managed to get to the middle of the gulf in the map, uh, following all these tunnels, and well, I found a, a big, big uh, space without anything uh, but uh, a floor of dirt, and I'm not seeing any monsters down here. Which is uh, well, it's I I say I find it strange. I mean, where are the monsters? Are they all grouping together to gang on me when all at once? I mean, about seventy monsters or so, or what? I don't know. Anyway. I'm going to keep exploring and I'll go back uh, in a while and I'll resume the recording when I'm in the base unless I find I find something else that uh, needs mentioning. I think I'm going to craft uh, a cobblestone generator next. I have uh, all the materials I need for the block breaker and I think I oh no I am going to need some more redstone F and for that I'm going to need either um, to mine it or to craft an alchemist stone for which I still need uh, some materials anyway I'm going to cut the feet now well that's surprising I found another Monster spawner. And I'm beginning to hear some spider sounds. So I'm going to block again this and retrace my steps outside. Especially since I'm running out of torches. Oh well, some more copper can't hurt. <laughs> Okay, I'm back in the vase. I have quite an amount of sapphires and some redstone. And I'm already smelting all the items I got. I'm going to need uh, to cook some cobblestone in order to make a redstone clock. But I think that can be made later. For the time being, I am crafting an alloy furnace and I'm going to craft uh, some, some paper which will allow me to craft some, some books which I need to craft my... well... <coughs> crafting guide. Yep, perfect. I'm going to need a crafting guide because I really don't know my way around, for example, the forestry mod and I should look at some of the videos that there's on the internet about that mod, but for the time being I'm a little busy with everything else. Also, there's uh, the railcraft mod. Anyway, no matter what uh, mods you play or what you're used to 
to do. The crafting guide is for me a really critical resource that uh, craft that uh, has to be crafted as soon as possible. And now I do have three monster spawners. Uh, two of Venomous uh, spiders and one of zombies, but uh, I still have only two Ender Pearls, so I'm going to hunt some enemies. Oh, look, Skeleton! <coughs> no, in fact, there are two Skeletons. One of the main problems. Uh, a mob has with an arrow is that they fire st in a straight line. So if you manage to move laterally when they are firing, you most likely evade the arrow. Of course, when there's two skeletons, it can be tricky, and you're more unlikely uh, going to get to get hit. Okay. Oh, a ship. Damn. I should have crafted some of those um, shears. But oh well. I still can kill the poor ship and get my wool. <coughs> oh, in case you're wondering why do I find so many animals around. I think it's because of the um, of one of the mods, the most creatures depends now, which uh, is oat. My my bad. I I didn't want to to do that. Uh, no, it's not in here. Anywhere, anyway, I can't remember the name right now, but uh, it's a mod that allows you, among other things, to change the... well... to change this. Change Valinia Spawns. That allows me to... Um, well, that allows the animals to spawn the way they did before 181. And well, the way they were always spawning. I'm not uh, breeding animals anyway for the time being, but uh, it's a nice touch, uh, a nice touch, I think, because you can change it if you prefer it to be a new way, or you can keep it the old way. Oh, clay, and I'm hearing some zombies. You know the clay I used to craft the um, to craft the alloy furnace was in a really deep <coughs> part of the sea nearby my my base, and it was quite a pain in the ass to dive down there and ga and gather all the clay. But anyway. <coughs> Before I start uh, relating with these guys in here of Millionaire, I'm going to need some well, some forest, uh, well, so some wood supply, and some and the cobblestone supply, which leads us again to the cobblestone generator. Oh, here as you can see. There is no, uh, nothing else in this uh, in this house, so I will dismantle it in in well before a day or two. And the same can be said about the the farms, because well, I already took everything from here or almost everything. Oh, and what I didn't take was uh, tramples by the monsters. So no way, no reason to cry over over what we won't be having anymore. 
I have a nice garden on top of, on top of my house. But I think I should uh, think uh, well. I should start thinking about making a really big house. I don't know. Maybe no. I don't. I won't be wasting any diamonds for the time being into a build crafts builder at least for for now. Later, maybe, but not not uh, not right now. Okay, now let's get out of this hole, and here we go. <laughs> 